Neutropenic sepsis is a life-threatening side effect of chemotherapy. Deaths occurring from this side effect are preventable. Many cancers are now potentially curable. However, patients can die from the side effects of treatment and not the disease. Sweetheart, are you all right? I'm not feeling very well. What do you mean? I'm just not feeling myself. Do you have a temperature? I think I might. Maybe you should see the doctor. You know what the chemo nurse said about infection. It's Sunday. There'll be no one there. Luke, I think you should get it checked out. I can't. I've got to pick up Jacob and Liam from football. I'll come home. No. It'll take you a good four hours. Besides, they'll only send me home with more antibiotics like last time. Nicola, at least speak to an out-of-hours doctor. Get some advice. All right, I will. And ring me when you know something. I love you, sweetheart. Love you too. Bye. Early signs and symptoms of neutropenic sepsis include pyrexia or hypothermia, non-specific symptoms of feeling unwell, symptoms of infection, shivering, feeling hot and cold, spontaneous rigor, and diarrhea. During the early phase, patients often look well. Thanks for calling me back. I understand you're not feeling well and have uh, recently finished some chemotherapy. How long have you been feeling unwell? Since I got up about 8 o'clock this morning. Have you had a temperature within the last hour? Yes, it's 37.5. Mrs. Jackson, I'd like you to go to A&E as soon as possible. Your white blood cells may be low and you may have an infection. Is there someone who could drive you there? No, really, I'm fine. I can drive. Thanks. Mrs. Jackson should not have ignored her symptoms. She should have called the hospital the moment she felt unwell. Patients are given a 24-hour contact number by the chemotherapy department. Any patients with signs and symptoms of infection should be referred immediately for an urgent full blood count. Oh, hello, Nikki. You all right? I'm sorry, Becky. I've got to go to hospital. I'm not feeling very well. Oh dear, is there anything I can do? Can you pick my boys up when you collect Connor from football? Of course. And hold on to them till I get back? Absolutely. Uh, does David know? Yeah, I spoke to him an hour ago. I'll call him again from the hospital. Okay, love. Thanks. See you later. Me. Bye. Oh, hello. Would you like to come with me? So, Mrs Jackson, you told me that you've been on chemotherapy um, and you haven't been feeling well since you got up this morning. And you spoke to an out-of-hours doctor who told you that you needed to come to A&E for an urgent blood test. Is that right? Yeah. Are you on any medication at the moment? No. But I did take a couple of paracetamol a few hours ago. Oh, OK. I think what we need to do is take you through to the treatment area. I'll do your temperature, pulse and blood pressure and then we'll get those urgent bloods off. Okay. okay. Be aware, paracetamol can mask the symptoms of infection 
and neutropenic patients cannot mount a normal immune response to infection. How are you feeling? I feel a bit shivery. All right, that's because your temperature's high. I'll get these gloves off as soon as we can. Okay. <laughs> 